everybody. We are the D B Sisters. So for this episode, it's gonna be all about Valentine's Day. So we're gonna be making some delicious chocolate treats as well as wrapping them. And like you know, I'll tell you how to wrap them. And then we are going to make nice house decorations mm -hmm. and the cocktails. Can't forget the liquor. <laughs> so we're gonna split this uh, tutorial into two different parts. So why don't you join us? Okay, so we're here to make some chocolate treats. Yes. Okay, so we'll show you our ingredients. I'm gonna be making something totally different than she is. Yes. Okay, so I'll show you mine first. Mine's okay. gonna be just basically all fruits. So I have some banana, apple, and strawberry. That's all, that's very simple. About me, this one is more simpler than hers. <laughs> I have a sweet potato and some nuts. And if you go to the cell store, you can buy the oats, oh, honey. Mm, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. As for our chocolate, uh, okay. we bought these separate chocolates from any superstore, right? We bought yes. these at the superstore. Uh, we have the white chocolate and we have also dark, dark chocolate. Yes. yes. But you have to know this one is a white chocolate is more expensive than dark chocolate. But dark chocolate is more healthy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's a good consideration. <laughs> and as to shape our chocolate, we have these imprints. These are basically um, to make cookies, but we're gonna use it just to make the shape of the chocolate. We can use it for whatever you want. So. And here in Canada, uh, we got these at Michael's, or you can also get them at a dollar store. Or so, Canadian Tire, or Walmart, 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 yeah, Walmart wherever. wherever. Yeah. yeah. And also, I have used this one. You know that this one, right? Yeah, these are for ice cream, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. But today, I'm going to use this one for the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I have lots of the shape here. Yeah. But today, I'm going to use heart. During Valentine's Day, you can use heart. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna get started. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Okay, go. We will start with Francis chocolate treat. You first place the sweet potato in the bowl and wrap it. Place it in the microwave for four minutes. While you wait for the sweet potato to be cooked, you can cut up the nuts into smaller, smaller pieces. You can also add in dry fruits or use it as an alternative. Now that after the 4 minutes are up, use a toothpick to see if the sweet potatoes are fully cooked. If it goes in smoothly like that, it means it's ready. Please be careful when you are unwrapping the bowl. There as you can see from the smoke, it's very very hot. With a spoon, mash the sweet potatoes. I know you were wondering, how come the sweet potatoes are yellow? Yeah, well, there are yellow and orange sweet potatoes. You can use whichever you like. After you finish, add in the nuts and mix them. If you think it's not going to be sweet enough, add honey. Yum! After all the mixing is done, place the cookie cutter on a flat surface like on that plate. Add in your mix. Now when you're adding the mix into your cookie cutter, remember to really squeeze them in there because when you take them out from the cookie cutter, you want it to stay in that shape. There, look how many she made! 
Next, for my chocolate treat. Simply peel the banana. So easy. Cut the top of your strawberries. Here I used my nails, but I think it's better off if you use a knife. As for your apples, you can peel the skin or leave it. You can actually choose whichever fruit you like. Just remember to cut them into little, little pieces. You want them to be very, very small because we're going to be putting this in between the chocolate. You see the banana? Very, very small. So this is my finished product of the fruits that I cut up. The reason why we prepare all this before we melt the chocolate is because the chocolate tends to harden really, really fast. Now we will start the chocolate. Put them into the bowl. See the white chocolate, we're putting it into one bowl. And the dark chocolate, we're putting it into another bowl. Uh, if you have more than one bowl of chocolate, put them in the microwave one at a time. First, put it in for one minute. After the minute is up, with a spoon, you want to mash your chocolate. Uh, the chocolate won't be fully melted, and this is right. You just want to smash them together, flip it around a little bit, so that the chocolate will get heated evenly all throughout. Put it in the microwave for another 30 seconds and repeat this process until everything is fully melted. The chocolate should run smoothly, as you can see, very smooth. Now France is placing the chocolate on the shaped sweet potatoes that she made. So put enough chocolate to cover all the sweet potato and after you just want to gently tap the plate so that the chocolate will cover the sweet potato all evenly. Now for my fruit chocolates, place the cookie cutter on the plate and add a bottom layer of chocolate. It's okay if it's a little messy because the cookie cutter will keep the chocolate in shape anyways. And place the fruit of your choice. Make sure the fruit don't go over the cookie cutter because we're only going to be adding the chocolate at the top layer until just the top of the cookie cutter. So make sure the fruits don't go over. So here we're going to add the top layer. Now after, uh, you want to place these into the refrigerator so that it can harden faster instead of leaving them out. Because the fruits inside the chocolate, I think, could still go bad. So place them into the refrigerator. Uh, about after 30 minutes, the ch chocolate should have hardened. And as you can see, the chocolate, they come up pretty easily from the plate. You can cut off any excess chocolate you know, with the knife. For the fruit chocolate, just push them out from the cookie cutter. They should come off with no problem. See? Easy. Now 
Now we will show you how to wrap them. This is a heart box that I purchased from a dollar store. We will place a tissue at the bottom. Uh, this pink tissue was purchased from IKEA. It's pretty good quality, but you don't necessarily have to buy this. Just stuff the tissue into the box. And after, with a small section of a clear piece of wrapping paper, as you can see, it's, it's the clear one, place it on the bottom, flip the box, and outline the box with a permanent marker. This, we will use it just as an outline to cut it. So we'll draw around it. I didn't draw fully, but that's okay. It's just going to be for an outline anyway. Okay. Take the scissors and cut it out. Place the wrapping paper inside the box. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's just to prevent the chocolate from smudging against the tissues in case the chocolates melt. I doubt it up here in Canada in February. It's pretty still cold in here. Now place the box on top of the box cover at slightly in an angle. Use the clear wrapping paper. The bottom should just cover the top of the box. Scrunch the sides together. And this will actually allow you to see the chocolate inside the box. Use a ribbon. Tie it around the wrapping paper. And I'm going to make a double knot. For mine, I used a red, pink, and another shade of pink. You can just leave the ribbons like this, but the curls are not that pretty. You can actually make the curls of these ribbons even more curlier by sliding your scissors against them. France used a little bit of a different method. She still put the tissues inside, but instead of using a cut clear piece of wrapping paper, she used these small cupcake wraps. She put them inside the boxes and then she placed the chocolates on top. She also actually decorated uh, on top of the box with a clear piece of paper as well. She cut it out and put some stickers on it and she also placed a nice toothpick inside so that the person who's eating the chocolate could actually pick the chocolate up with it. They don't have to use their hands. Now instead of getting the cover at the bottom like I did, she placed it on the side. So when you actually look from the back, you can see the heart shape. She used a little bit of a, a skinnier ribbon than I did. But she used the same method. And for her, instead of curling them, she just uh, cut them so that they are at the same length.
There you have it. All the different ways that you can wrap your chocolate. You can wrap it in small dishes like this with big ribbons or, or another, another same dish with smaller ribbons. Two different ways of wrapping your presents in the box. And also a big dish if you want to give it out on the big dish. If you have a big chocolate, can't fit it into your boxes or the smaller trays. You can also do it on the big round one. And there you go. Ta-da!